Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? UFC was last night. What's up, Eddie? What's, What's up, up guys? Listen, you guys, I'm so upset right now. I'm going to do a quick recap. I can't go over everything. It's a long night, and I know some of you guys saw, like, the... the the, the scarf hold headlock uh, early on. I'm just gonna go over the main card. I, I don't have enough time. This video is probably gonna go long and I got some things I gotta like scream about. First fight of the night on the main card is Vince Bichelle and Marco Madsen. That was bullshit. I'm sorry, I'm biased. If you guys didn't know, Vince is one of my black belts. Um, I don't like the decision at all. 30, 27? Yeah, bullshit. Sorry for the foul language. Um, guys, look, you can't. Second round, Vince did not lose that round. The judges need to understand that this has always been a problem in MMA. Takedowns win the round because you went behind him and you're on top for a little bit. Vince ended up catching him in a calf lock. Ah, it was, it was Matson, look, Matson won round one. He won round one. He got a takedown. You know, he landed some leg kicks. Definitely. He won round one. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Vince fires back in round two, starts landing more strikes, kicks, uh, front, front, front snap, front ball kicks, um, leg kicks. He's, it's just. The sweep with the cap. The, I think that's a sweep. Okay. There's a takedown. Oh, by the way, no, no, I gotta mention the drag out. Oh. Hey, Madsen, when Vince starts to get up and he grabs a front headlock, Vince hits the drag. To the back. See that? And then on the the drag. The and 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 uh, we got that on video, guys. Yeah, that was beautiful. And and you know what? Let me say this, Vince. I wasn't in his corner because he's got a new camp. He moved out to Colorado. So he's with the new team with Factory X. So good job to them for, for getting Vince ready. But I'm just gonna say it, you know, he learned that from, from us. He hit it twice. Anyway, yeah, he hit it twice. Yeah, he hit it twice. Um, and that, that dude's an Olympian. Yeah, he down. yeah, and, then, and, and that's the thing. Second round, mm -hmm. he gets a takedown on Vince. He's kind of like behind Vince in, that, in this position. And you know, Vince was like this, here, give me your arm. Mm -hmm. And Vince was trying to hold it might have been the other way. It was this way, here. And then, um, you know, Vince was trying to hold and then he was he was hooking Vince's ankle in what we call the Iowa ride. So this is uh, became a problem uh, for Vince a little bit. And let me show you guys, I have not done a video on this, but we'll do it. I'm just gonna show it once. This is what Vince attempted. Marco Manson uh, defended. A lot of you guys aren't gonna know this move. It's called a toe post in wrestling. So we'll, we'll do a video on the toe post. So he toe posts Marco Madsen, but it turns into uh, just correct your balance and it turns into a position here. And then now front headlock. Yeah. And then another drag. And then as out of that drag, it got back up. So we'll, we'll hit the toe post a little bit later. <sighs> he did not lose. Dude, Vince takes him down and they're like going, Oh, where's Daniel Cormier? We gotta find out if this is a takedown. Oh yeah. Joe Rogan was like, this is a takedown. Yeah, it Joe was a takedown, it's so obvious. Mm -hmm. Why, how is this even an issue? People don't know what takedowns are anymore. I, I, I'm gonna jump ahead. Jan didn't take down Sterling? Are those not takedowns? I guess these jujitsu brains, which I have both wrestling and jujitsu, people think it's only a takedown when you, Look, when Sterling initiates a takedown and then falls to his hands and knees, mm -hmm. and Jan, instead of kneeing him in the head, he's so afraid, <laughs> runs behind him, that's called a takedown. When you're on top of a guy with legs in, hooks in, at the end of the fight, that's called a takedown. If he didn't get a takedown, how did that happen? Exactly. Anyway, it's, it's just, that's silly. All right, going back. I'm jumping around. I'm, I knew I was going to go crazy. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. I knew I was going nuts. The holding situation with the dude holding Vince. Oh, my God. That's a yellow card. Guys, look. It's one to one. One round. Round one. Round two. It's one to one. Vince ended that round on top of Madsen, about to beat the hell out of him. And, and Matson was gassed. It, he was in back control. He broke him yeah. at that point. I'm not saying the entire fight, but that round was clearly Vince's round. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't say he dominated it, but he just the calf lock is a submission. Vince didn't get it, but he's attacking. So you can't crazy. give Madsen the round because he was in control of Vince for a minute, maybe. Vince controlled that round. He landed better strikes. He had him in a calf lock, which is a finishing hold. And then he took him down and ended the round on top throwing strikes or about to. He was about to. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, and then pushed him off <laughs> and then with, a little bit of, with a little bit of distaste. <laughs> All right. Um, guys, look. And then the third the round. Vince came out on fire, landed the ball kick, landed leg kicks, kicks landed punches. Madsen was not winning the stand up. And then he shoots a double leg. He shoots a double leg. Was it off Vince's switch kick, I think? I, yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember the. I think he just threw from a distance, but he might have. I, 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 I don't have that memory. Yeah. I didn't watch. I think Look, I only watched it the one time, but Madsen shoots a double leg. Takes Vince down. Vince kind of went for a guillotine because he realized he couldn't sprawl out of it. Mm -hmm. Then Joe Rogan happened. Guys, this is a big problem in MMA. We cannot have, they've got to change this. I, I realize it, obviously, I'm very close to this fight, as I mentioned before. So you, we, we, you cannot have judges, three judges around an octagon, have the commentators calling the fight loud enough where the judges can hear. This is not, it, they need to be in some type of booth where the judges can't hear them. I know that it may not be feasible, I get all that, I, I understand that, but here's a pro, this is a real problem. When you're a judge, and I'm not saying this is the absolute reason, but it's, I'm betting on it, that when Joe Rogan is in that third round saying, oh, Madsen's winning, Madsen takes him down, and now Vince has to get away, Vince's job is to get up. Madsen just has to hold him down. I think that Matt fight should stay on the ground until the bottom guy gets up. I agree with you, Joe, but that doesn't mean the top guy's winning. He did not even do a damaging takedown. That was a double leg. It wasn't a hard double leg. It was a double leg. Vince half sprawled, grabbed a guillotine. It was a failed, horrible failed guillotine. Didn't get much out of it. Madsen's on top. Not a lot of damage. Good job, you gotta get, you got a double leg, okay? I'm a wrestler too, I love double legs. But after that, he did absolutely nothing. Vince is the one that attacked. Vince went for a Kimura, Vince went, went for a triangle. Vince hammer fisted from and elbowed him from the bottom. If you're on top, and, and dude, and you're taking these, and you're getting hit constantly with this kind of stuff, and you're not doing any, and then Joe goes, oh, he's going for a head and arm choke, like an arm triangle. He's not going, he was just locked, holding for dear life while Vince is going, let me go, dude. You cannot judge us. You cannot give it to this guy when he's doing this. He was trying to lean his legs while Vince was trying to work the butter. He's not doing anything. Do I think the fight should be stood up? No, I agree with Joe. The fight should continue. However, that doesn't mean he's winning because he took him down and he's holding him. That's nothing more than a guy like this. It's the same crap. What if a guy holds my leg and I do this all round? Who's winning? Who's winning? Come on, this is I obvious. Say you are saying, you are. It's, all, it's the same you damn thing. Same it's the same thing. The judges got it. Not only that, <laughs> not only that, but Vince at the end ended up getting up. He ended up getting up and he, he got out of it and came after him right in the final seconds. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. in other words, he proved that he could get up. When you judge a fight, in my mind, and I think most people would agree with me, the whole point of judging a fight is, had the fight continued, who would be the winner? It's, it's, a, it's a made up fantasy world where judges go, who would win if the, you know, based on what happened and if it continued? That's how it should be. It may not be actually. It may they may define it as what happened in the fight, but I know Pride used to have that kind of mentality. Maybe I'm making that up. But whatever. The point is it should be something like that. The point is the wrong guy won. And 3027 is horse shit. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Alright. If you guys couldn't tell, Vince is my boy. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I you know, I raised him as a child.
not, not as a child. He came to me at like 23 years old. So he's 39 now. Anyway, um, so he's near and dear to my heart. Second fight. We can't take this long on every fight. <laughs> Mackenzie Dern. All I'm going to do, guys, we got to go fast forward now. <laughs> Mackenzie Dern jumps guard, unbelievable, and goes for a Kimura. Um, can you jump guard on me? Can I? Can you hold me? All right. So they're kind of like up against the wall. And uh, I do, I'm, I'm a little old, so here, pull up. All right, she jumps guard. You're gonna have to lean back and really hold me. So she goes for the Kimura, okay? Now, she's getting the Kimura, and guys, look, stop using your thumbs, even if you're a freaking ADCC world champ. Look, stop using your thumbs on Kimuras. <laughs> yes, there are times where it could work. I'm, I don't deny that. Okay, but we've got to start learning. What I always teach is five finger grip, okay? Because now look, when you have this kind of grip, there's also a point where she was over the shoulder, which is not good. Mm -hmm. I, I want to slide off that shoulder. So if you're here, you change your thumb grip, you stop pushing Kimuras and you start pulling Kimuras. So can you bend over now? So we're going to go to the point where she did a good job pushing off the wall and then I'm gonna try to swing my left leg over your head. If you're gonna drop me, it's okay. Just, just don't break my neck. All right, she ends up like this. Guys, look, the difference, okay, I'm gonna, we might do this again. Thumbs, again, not enough power. This leg started to step over the head. Remember, it was kind of like creating problems. Um, the, this position, guys, when you're, she was kind of half rolled over, if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. and she was, when she was pushing, you don't push a Kimura. You don't push it like this. It makes sense in your brain, but that's not what you do. You five finger grip a Kimura. You pull the Kimura. You pull it and you turn your body. When, you're, when you have your thumbs like this, you can't pull. You're not in a... This grip is for like pushing a lever. This is for pulling. They can't straighten and they can't, it's gonna break them. Let, let's go back up to the feet. I wanna talk yeah, about the power. I know she ended up getting it. I know she ended up getting it, but when, when you're here, even this, like, don't let me. You ready? See, see that? Even though I've got it kind of like behind your back, you're strong, right? Yeah. Ready? Don't let me. You really, really try For to sure. not let me. For Watch. Sure. Watch. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> pressure. I, it's nice. <laughs> you don't have pressure like this. It's different. For sure. I'm, I can't believe I'm the only one. I can't even tell you how many catch wrestling double wrist lock videos I gotta watch with these guys doing this because they're big and strong and they're beating up on little people or just, you know, they're, they're strong athletes with tree trunk freaking biceps and mm -hmm. look, use technique. The barata? You show me the they go down, look at this guys, come on. <laughs> Rafael Fritis is, I was gonna say he's rolling over in his, in his bed and in prison. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway, it was a joke. No, no, he didn't even go to, he's not in prison. Rafael, I love you. All right, we're here. <laughs> Guys, look, it ends up like this and Mackenzie's in this position right here. Um, Torres was kind of stacking her, like kind of put me up on my head. Yeah, so, cause she was a little worried about her arm, right? Like maybe a triangle could happen. So she was kind of hiding her arm like this. And I'm gonna be honest, here, come around this angle. This hand may have not been all the way in. Mm -hmm. It might have been like something like this for quite a bit of the time. But she was in this position for damn near a minute. I mean, maybe it was, I, I could be off. Maybe 45 seconds, 30, to, 30 seconds to a minute. This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You're here like this. Mackenzie. Mackenzie, if you're watching, watch. It's not that hard, okay? You have this hand through and you push the wrist deeper. You let them have their hand outside so they feel nice and safe. And then what Rafael and I would have you do is take your hand, bring it from the backside,
go super deep, grab your thigh. Then all you have to do is hold and then adjust your hip. You can lean into me if you like. I adjust my hip and step on the hip. Then I take this leg and I make sure I go this way. The left hand will scoop. I'll grab what I can. If I can get the leg, I'll take the leg. If I can get the arm, I'll take the arm. If I can't get any of them, I'll get the head. Yeah. And it's that city. Mackenzie could have had it. She just, she's a world champ. She's incredible, but she doesn't know a Brata Plata. I'm sure the Tariko Plata people out there are also upset. <laughs> All right, Mr. Hopstock, sorry, bro. Mr. Hopstock. Anyway, um, let's go with, uh, she won. She got the, uh, she got the decision. I thought it was razor close that last takedown, I think sealed it, but what do you guys think? I think she won. pretty close, could win either way. Yeah. Could win either way. Um, what about, uh, all right, third fight, let's go faster. Oh my God, it, uh, Shamaya, Shamaya Burns. Burns. Dude, I don't even want to do it. <laughs> Great fight, incredible fight. I mean, like, what are we gonna talk about? I, this is a grappling channel, obviously we could talk about striking too, but. Yeah. What, yeah, I, I, wrestling versus Jiu Jitsu. You can see a lot of. Yeah. Definitely you can see some different moves where Kamzat was being denied and his takedowns a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Was it wasn't it wasn't total domination. It wasn't because Gilbert had technique. You know what? I think he would have destroyed Burns had he just stuck to his jab. Yeah, he threw too many rights. Like, yeah. And he was wild. And, like, he should have just kept his jab going. Yeah, he was mixing. He'll go from using his jabs and his straights and then he'll just all of a sudden just start brawling and try to counter Yeah, he didn't him. need to do that. I yeah. think he, he realized that I heard him. I heard the post-fight interview, and he said he just needs to, like, chill, like his corner chill. told him, chill a little bit and yeah. be more technical. Exactly. But, yeah, but Burns is a warrior, yeah, so that was crazy. insane. Insane. So crazy. crazy fight. Um, Sterling, yawn. Guys, look, what's the, I'm going to be honest. When I first saw the fight, I thought Jan edged it because I thought it was pretty clear. I thought, let's just go two, three, four, five, two, three, easy Sterling, four, five, easy Jan. So it's all about round one. And, and when I watch the fight, you know, you take your eyes off the fight sometimes. I'm eating some food, you know, I, I, you know I'm trying to pet the dog, you know, so like, and I, I'm watching the fight and I, you know, it's just getting going. There wasn't anything super significant. So what my memory was, was, well, Sterling's kind of running away and Jan's imposing some cage control, so he obviously won the round because it wasn't anything significant. But I'm gonna be honest. What did, and you said you you saw it the first yeah, time. Yeah. So I thought Aljo won the first time because like he was throwing more punches and just busier, and then Jan wasn't throwing in anything for like two minutes into the round. Like yeah, he had he was walking him down, stalking him down. <laughs> but I feel like he has that like. Uh, like that, like that Floyd effect, where he, like it's like um, it seems like he's doing a lot, but he, he's really not at times, and he starts kind of slow, and then it just builds up. Yeah, like, it looks like he's doing a bunch of things, but when you go back and look, you're like, oh, okay, then he he was just doing like more just cage control and just uh, redoing his reads at first. Yeah, you know? you know, I'm not gonna lie, I watched that round again because I knew it was important because I. If, if a couple judges gave it to Sterling, they had to have seen something in round one. We all know it's round one. There's no, there's no way. The only other way to think of it, you mentioned, is like, did, did, did Sterling's round two, was that a 10-8 round? And I don't think it was, but it, I think there's an argument. I mean, it's kind of an argument. I don't think so. I don't, yeah, I mean, he dominated the whole round. And you could say at the end, like, the domination, throwing the strike. But I still don't go 10-8 yet. But... So we all know we got a zero in on round one. I watched round one. What do you think? I immediately thought, damn, Sterling won. You think they'll do three? They'll probably do it. Yeah, they're gonna do it again. But but I do now think it's not, a lot of people go, man, how did how did they screw that up? Even I was one of the ones, like right after the fight was over, I was like, nah, Jan, Jan won the first round. I watched it again. Jan's chasing him, but Sterling's landing the shots. And every time Jan landed, it looked like Sterling also landed, most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. Towards the end of the round, there was a, a nice exchange off of a takedown where I believe Jan landed a right hand and also 
uh, Sterling landed a right hand and it looked like Sterling's was better. Jan's head dipped, you know, the, uh, he just looked, he just, there was a moment in the, in the round where he looked like he was hurt. We couldn't tell why, but he was kind of covering up and yeah, that, with that elbow came out late. Was that the first round too? It, if it was the first round, it might've been. There was, a, there was a moment when Sterling landed a nice elbow, just a boom, and, and you could see Jan step back. He shook him a little bit. Mm. You know, whether it was just off balance, we don't know, we don't know. Maybe it didn't really hurt him, but when you step back, it looks like it did something. So guess what? I think that adds up for points. And um, at the end of that round, yeah, cage control I give to Jan, but Sterling, shit, and he see, landed more. If you count the punches, I think Arjo landed like 16 and uh, Jan landed like eight punches total. Yeah. Eight strikes total. Yeah, so it's not it's yeah, not it insane was, yeah. for Sterling to, to get that decision. It really wasn't. And then on top of it, he had two more minutes of control time. So that too. Oh, you're talking about oh, oh overall. Overall. Yeah, overall. Yeah, overall. Yeah, yeah. But but if we judge round by round, yeah, you know. Yeah. Either yeah, way, yeah, yeah. man, look at that. He got the takedowns, he got the back control. Oh, you know what? Let me mention this. He got the hooks. Guys, what were I'm not, you know what, I'm going to have you do it because I can't reach my back. Yeah, give me a body triangle. I, I, I'm not a body triangle, guys. <laughs> guys, look. So you get a body triangle, and Jan is an outstanding defender. He's defending. I got to say, though, Sterling needs to, he's great at jujitsu. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's the one trick pony thing. I'm not saying he only has a back. Rear naked choke, yeah, he's hiding his foot under there. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, so guys, when you're here and you can't finish the choke on this guy, you've been on his back for like four minutes. Why not give that last minute, 45 seconds, I think between 30 seconds and one minute. Just set it up, man. Mm -hmm. You know how to do this. Take this shoulder right here, go to a Kimura if you want, loop off the head, and now just set it up. You know, this kind of idea would have been so much better. Um, I, you know what, let me, let me take that back for a second though. Yeah, Round two, I loved it because what he did, that's what I was asking for first, mm -hmm. was get on top and beat on him. From, like, from the back. And which he did in the second. After he, he couldn't choke him for a couple minutes, he spent that last minute or so just kind of ground him, I'm just saying, fine, I'm gonna beat on you now. So that part was great, but round three, maybe that also showed that he was getting tired because he just kind of, just kind of oh, like man. held and didn't do a whole lot and and just rode him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you guys got it, you got to go for arm bars. You can't just be a back control. I'm a rear naked choke guy. If you're not able to trap an arm, you know, a la Gary Tonin, Gordon Ryan, or any other high level jujitsu guy nowadays in competition and trap an arm so you can get an easy choke. Mm -hmm. You gotta go for an arm bar. You're in a fight and time's running out. Yeah, It's not hard. It's not hard at all. Guys, you stand up, what were you gonna say, Lamont? I think some are scared because if you turn into the arm bar, they're scared to get in the guard. Yeah, but and that's why, on the back. right. But that's why, look, after you've already won the round mm -hmm. for three to four minutes, 30 seconds. If you're that time. worried, then give yourself 30 seconds. I say at least 30 because what could happen is a transition from an arm bar to a triangle, mm -hmm. which takes a little bit of time to finish. That's why I don't like 10 seconds or 15. You only need a few seconds to do an arm bar, but if the guy's battling, then you might need a little bit more. That's 30 seconds. That's You've already won the round. You've mm -hmm. already won the round. Mm -hmm. So even if you went for an arm bar right now, even if you went for it, and even if I do this and I yank out, you're still gonna win the round. You're, you know, unless you just get clobbered, right. you're gonna win that round. But the attack, you'll, you'll yeah. hold that. Yeah, it shows something, judges. Shows this is for the judges. Get out there and learn the sport. Madsen and Fischel, the sport is called MMA, not wrestle fuck. Or lay and pray. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously. Dude, <laughs> That's what they it, do, dude. Lay and pray is the term. I 
Russell pray. Fuck. He was the, praying uh, Vince wouldn't get up. <laughs> Re <laughs> Russell Fuck is what happened to Vince. Anyway, <laughs> lay and pray. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Oh, zombie. Zombie's a zombie. He got his ass beat. I love him, but he got zombie. his ass beat. Volkanovski looked amazing. I love you, zombie. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> zombie. Like I, we were all yeah. watching it. We were like, damn, he's looking to come back on Walking Dead or, <laughs> or, or, or Squid Games. He's going to be on Squid Games too. You know? Anyway. Uh, yeah, he looked, he looked, he didn't look so good, but Volkanovski looked amazing. And uh, zombies, I don't know how he does it, but he lived up to his name. And, so, and yeah, goes off in the sunset, good stoppage, good stoppage, Herb. Yeah. I'm glad you Herb know they you finally made me happy this week. Yeah, you good job, Herb. Yeah. He's been Shout out to my boy Herb, <laughs> who also he, he used to be one of my training partners. So, anyway, all right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you, Eddie. Thank Anyways, you, Lamont. Thank you, Teach me grappling, like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Am I wrong? What else did you see? There's probably tons of stuff I missed because it was a long night and um, love you. I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.